Walt Whitman, a cosmos of Manhattan, the sun. Turbulent, fleshy, eating, drinking, and breeding. No sentimentalist, no stander above men or women or apart from them. No more modest than immodest. Unscrew the locks from the doors. Unscrew the doors themselves from the jams. Whoever degrades another degrades me. Whatever is done and said returns at last to me. Through me, the afflatus surging and surging. Through me, the current and index. I speak the password prime evil. I give the sign of democracy. By God, I will accept nothing which all cannot have their counterpart of on the same terms. Through me, many long, dumb voices, voices of the interminable generation of prisoners and slaves, voices of the diseased and despairing and of thieves and dwarves and the cycles of preparation and accretion and of the threads that connect the, the stars and of wounds and of the father stuff. And the rights of them the others are down upon. The deformed, trivial, flat, foolish, fog in air, despised, uh, beetles, rolling balls of dung. Through me, forbidden voices, voices of sexes and lusts, voices veiled, and I remove the veil, voices indecent by me transformed and clarified. I do not press my fingers across my mouth. I keep as delicate around the bowels as around the head and the heart. Copulation is no more rank to me than death is. I believe in the flesh and the appetites. For seeing, hearing, feeling are miracles. And each and every part and tag of me is a miracle. Divine am I inside and out. And I make holy all that I touch or am touched from. Scent of these armpits. Aroma finer than prayer. This head more than churches, Bibles, and all the creeds. If I worship one thing more than another, it shall be the spread of my own body. Translucent mold of me, it shall be you. Shaded ledges and rests, it shall be you. Firm masculine culture, it shall be you. Whatever goes to the tilth of me, it shall be you. You, my rich blood, your milky streams, pale strippings away of my life. Breast that presses against other breasts, it shall be you. My brain, it shall be your occult convolutions. Root of washed sweet flag, timorous pond snipe, nest of the guarded duplicate eggs, it shall be you. Mixed tussled hay of head, it shall be you. Trickling sap of maple, fiber of manly wheat. It shall be you. Sun so generous, it shall be you. Vapors lighting and shading my face, it shall be you. You sweaty brooks and dews, it shall be you. Wind whose soft tickling genitals rub against me, it shall be you. Broad muscular fields, branches of live oak, loving loungers in my winding path, it shall be you. Hands I have taken, face I have kissed, mortal I have ever touched, it shall be you. I dote on myself. There is that lot of me and all so luscious. Each moment and whatever happens thrills me with joy. Well, I, I cannot tell how my ankle bends, nor whence the cause of my faintest wish, nor the cause of the friendship I admit, nor the cause of the friendship I take again. That I, I walk up a stoop, I pause to consider, if it really be. A morning glory at my windowsill satisfies me more than the metaphysics of books. To behold the daybreak, the little light fades the immense shadows. The air tastes good to my palate. Hefts of the moving world at innocent gambols, silently rising, freshly exuding, scooting obliquely high and low, 
Something I cannot see puts forth libidinous prongs, seas of bright juice, suffuse heaven. The earth by the sky stayed, the daily close of their junction, the heave challenge from the east, that moment over my head, the mocking taunt. See then whether you shall be master. Walt Whitman.